count it a real privilege to be among their best friends. I'm one of them. <laughs> but you know why probably almost everyone here feels that way? You know why that is? Because they know how to be a friend. They have no uppity airs. They treat us all alike. They respect everybody. They're good listeners. You've got something to tell them. They'll hear you out. They won't butt in and take off with your story. They'll, well, what you got on your mind? They make you comfortable because they know how to be a friend. They both have really understanding hearts. You don't meet that every day. There's some people you talk to and they're so wound up in themselves. They don't have a clue how you feel or think or care. But Clifford and Patsy are caring people. They have really understanding hearts. You could say something, it may not come out the way you really intended it to, but they're your friend and they're gonna know exactly what you meant, regardless of what you said. Even if you don't say, now don't tell anybody. Clifford and Patsy are not going to tell a living soul. They're going to keep your confidence. And I consider them very, among my very, very, they are my very best friends. And I have seen the rapport that Chuck and Clifford had was two men to have, they were, Clifford was Chuck's best friend. And my children have um, commented about if they come to the house and their dad was on the phone talking to Uncle Cliff, uh, they didn't have to say who's on the phone. <laughs> it, it was just, they knew. They had a rapport, they could laugh and talk. They understood each other, they loved each other. And it was a beautiful thing. That's. I treasure that. Um, when I first came into the Elwell family, my first introduction to Cliff was, he's the other brother. Well, I know it's hot and I don't want to bore you with all the stories, but it didn't take me too long to find out what that meant. Uh, Chuck and I moved in, long story short, we moved in with Brother Austis after Sister Opal died. And, and not too long after that, in came Cliff and, and Steve. And I thought, who, who invited them to live with us? <laughs> Nobody consulted me. <laughs> but we developed really close relationship in those days. One day, Cliff being the big good brother that he was, he said, hey, I, w I got a mending job on my pants that I really need repair. And he says, uh, I want to do the dishes for you. Okay, I'd rather sew than wash dishes any old day. So... <laughs> Uh, I fixed his pants and the next day he comes home and he says, say, uh, a bee stung me today and I slapped my leg gonna get that bee before it stung me anymore. But on further examination, I had left a pen in his pants. <laughs> Needless to say, I never got asked to do any more mending for him. We have many, many wonderful times and I won't bore you with all of it, but I consider them my best friends.